Hey everyone, Mark Ailebrecht here. I'm a PhD candidate at Martin Luther University College, and I'm gonna show you around Luther today. So I love studying and researching here, and why not? An architecturally stunning building, situated on a vibrant campus, state-of-the-art facilities, classrooms, a multi-faith prayer room, chapel, gathering spaces, a top drawer faculty, an amazing community, it's all here to help you grow, take a leap, take a chance, an opportunity to challenge yourself in any number of renowned and innovative programs. Martin Luther University College facility underwent a major transformation and renovation that was completed in 2018. The transformative renovation involved removing asbestos and reconfiguring spaces, making them bigger and brighter, upgrading classrooms, putting in new faculty and admin offices, installing charging stations, and putting in new windows, insulation, energy efficient heating and cooling, and all of that sort of stuff. And you can read all about that on the school's website. Basically, they took all of the good stuff and built on it to better, stu uh, better serve students and the Luther community. Friends, let's take a look inside. Okay, so quick history lesson. So starting as a seminary with four students in 1911, this community grew to found Wilfrid Laurier University and was instrumental in the establishment of the University of Waterloo. Luther today is a community of learning where spirituality and academic rigor go hand in hand to create lives of meaning and service, a community that invites critical reflection, a community that's diverse and multi-faith, one that engages with public issues and that doesn't live in a vacuum, but engages with the wider community. Let's check out one of Luther's classrooms. So Luther has 168 full and part-time students enrolled in the fall term. So that is PhD, MA, MDiv, general grad, grad diploma students, in Christian studies, global citizenship students, and there are 303 Wilfrid Laurier students enrolled in courses at Luther. So much amazing stuff happens in these classrooms. You've got the tech and the whiteboards, all that kind of stuff to rock the presentation or to capture that spontaneous idea to work through challenging concepts. This is an inclusive and multi-faith learning environment. In fact, Luther's students represent over 30 religious traditions or claim to no faith tradition at all. In these spaces, I have personally had professors and classmates challenge me academically and spiritually, critically reflecting on that place where faith meets life, amongst other things. Point is, this is a space where raw and real and honest questions can be asked and explored. Now, let's check something else out. We're heading into the faculty offices wings. Angela Abraham said, let learning be as a child who laughs, running up a helter skelter at a fun fair. Every step is a joy, each step ascended with ease as the brain fills with pure happiness, one born of curiosity and the anticipation of discovery. Then comes the aha moment as we ride the exhilaration back to the ground, smiling, eager to find new stairs, end quote. This is Joy Phillips' office, this is Dr. Phillip. Hi, Dr. Phillip. Powerhouse faculty person here at Luther. All right, why don't we check out across the hall, not to leave Dr. Alan Jorgensen out of the loop here. Also, also powerhouse faculty member. So indeed, the aha moment happens because of powerhouse faculties such as these. I can attest to that personally. And I can personally attest to the fact that there are many aha moments that happen. And they happen because of the Luther community. Teachers and learners coming together in an environment that encourages and enables critical reflection and self-reflection, creativity, and a push to go deeper. In addition to being a diverse bunch of powerhouse teachers and researchers, I've always found the Luther faculty accessible, encouraging, and eager to help. And I would encourage you to check out the faculty listing, complete with research areas and interests on the Luther website. There is a place, or this is a place rather, where interdisciplinary programs, research, and learning find life and breath and come together in joyful, spectacular animation. 
Let's go check some more stuff out. So here we have the college's multi-faith room that offers a quiet retreat for prayer and meditation and ablution facilities for Muslim students and guests. Since the redevelopment, this main gathering space has quickly become the place to go. This is where you can meet people, check in, meet for a latte, have your lunch, do some studying, go over that presentation just one more time. And that's one of the things that I have come to really appreciate about this redeveloped building. It is filled with places to go and to gather, to study, to hang out. It really works for students and it really works for community. And this blending and blurring of indoor and outdoor spaces is such a bonus and is truly impressive. Martin Luther University College provides a lot of opportunities for the Luther community and the public to worship in groups or in solitude. As a faith-based school, it is important to pause during our busy days and gather together for worship. And everyone, everyone is welcome. It's not just for those studying to be pastors, but also lay people and people who identify as being spiritual, but not religious. Now this space is far more than a chapel. It's also a site for personal reflection and meditation, open door, classroom learning, settler work, public lectures, a student de-stressing program called Chillin' with Dogs. There's an organ up on the balcony and a piano on the main floor if music is your jam. And two very important people to the Luther community, we have Debbie Lou Ludolph, who is Dean of the Chapel, and Brad Moga, who is the musician in residence. This is also home to Third Space, led by Pastor Ann Anderson, Luther's community pastor. Now, Third Space is a vibrant, alternative worshiping community drawn from across campus and the broader community. While remaining Lutheran, uh, Third Space explores new ways of, of doing church and is an incubator for worship innovation. Each day, there is a different activity and there is always a place for you here. So now that we're outside, a few things about the campus. So across the street over there, we have the Delton Glebe Counseling Center, named after the Reverend Dr. Delton J. Glebe, longtime pastor, professor, and principal dean, who was a pioneer in the research and teaching of grief, death, and dying. The center is a community service that is provided through Martin Luther University College, which, fun fact, is home to one of the largest graduate programs in the field of spiritual care and psychotherapy. So friends, thanks for joining me on the tour today. I hope that you have glimpsed, if only a little, why I love Martin Luther University College so much and why it's great to be a student and researcher here. I have learned so much about the world, about my spirituality, about service. This is a place to wrestle with challenging issues and questions, a place to discover meaning and purpose, a place to be appropriately vulnerable and to savor the adventure. So friends, be sure to check out Luther's website for the most up-to-date information at www.luther.wlu.ca. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We look forward to seeing you on campus sometime soon.